What's going on? What's going on? Um, I want to go over is two problems. Dorothy sent me. Dorothy, um, these are two pretty straightforward proportion problems. Um, the real reason that people have such a hard time with proportions is that there's more than one way to set them up, uh, which is a little bit frustrating. And so I'm, I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Um, essentially, a proportion is just a way of writing fractions, right? So let's take two equivalent fractions. Four eighths is equivalent to one over two, right? That's a fact. We know that four eighths is equal to one over two, right? Um, so we call this a proportion, right? Um, but here's the thing. If I take the top of one side and I switch it with the bottom of another, the statement is still true. So I'm going to switch that one and that eight. So four over one is equal to eight over two. That, that's true, right? That's true. There's four divided by one is four, and eight divided by two is four as well. Now, these are not the same problem, like these represent two different things, but I can do that whenever I want, and the statement will remain true. Right? Two over one is two, eight over four is two, right? And I, I could just keep, I could keep doing this, right? Two over eight is equal to one over four, right? So the problem a lot of the people have is that you have a little bit of freedom to set these things up. So it's not quite as cut and dry as a lot of other math problems, okay? So say, for example, in this problem, coffee beans from 14 trees are required to produce 7.7 uh, .7 kilograms of coffee. You have two ways you can set this up. So I'll label them A and B, okay? You can say 14 is to 7.7, .7, now the 14 trees, 7.7 .7 kilograms, right? Um, and by the way, just you, you could actually set this up four ways. I'm just picking this one. If you want to do kilograms per tree, uh, you can do that too. Either one of these is acceptable. Okay? Good. Now, the other thing, the other way you can set this up is you can also say you can do a kind of a cross, right? You can say 14 trees. makes 7.7 .7 kilograms, right? Now, here's the thing. We just got to make sure these things either line up horizontally or they line up vertically. It doesn't matter which one you do, okay? So say, for example, I decide to do this. Well, how many kilograms did they want to know? They want to know how many trees will make 637 kilograms, okay? So if you notice, you have kilograms corresponding with kilograms, right? Uh, and they want to know how many trees will that take. Well, you could have said also, if you're going with trees to kilograms, you could have gone X here and 637 kilograms here. And if you notice, what we just said is still true, right? What happens? I can switch these two and I will get this one, okay? So it doesn't matter how you do it, okay? Um, my suggestion is to choose the first option. 14 trees makes 7.7 .7 kilograms. How many trees makes 637 kilograms, okay? And again, just to show you, you could have switched this up. You could have also said this. Kilograms in 14 trees is equal to uh, 637 kilograms in X trees, okay? Um, Pretty much what you're looking for is you just got to make sure your kilograms line up either this way, your trees line up this way, or they have to line up horizontally and vertically, and that you're talking about the same thing, right? This is one situation with the kilograms and trees. This is a different situation with the kilograms and trees, okay? So, again, like I said, I, I, I know that's kind of confusing, but you have your options here, okay? Um, here, like I said, this is your first situation. This is your second situation. Make sure you get trees in the top, kilograms in the bottom, okay? Good. Again, given the choice of putting kilograms on top and trees in the bottom, you can switch it all. It doesn't matter. You're going to make one less step, though, if you put your variable on the top, okay? So what do you got to do for now? You got to cross multiply, okay? Once you got to set up, you got to cross multiply. So you're going to do 14 times... Uh, 637. Okay, so we're going to do 14 times 637. 
Okay, and that's going to be, oops, hold on a second, let me do this way, this will work, not even here. Okay, uh, that's going to be 89, 89, 18. So that was, we multiply these, okay? And then we're going to multiply the other two, 7.7x. Good. Now again, what do we got to do? Solve the equations. Let's divide both sides by 7.7. .7. And we'll find out that x is equal to whatever this is. Oops. Not your problem. Different problem. Divided by 7.7. .7. And what did you get? Um, how many trees will you need? A lot. <laughs> you would need a lot of trees. You got uh, 1,158 trees. 1,158 trees. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Um, I'll show you the other way just to show you that the math still works out the same. It doesn't really matter. So, say uh, we set this up a different way. I said, uh, I don't know, something like this. We said um, 7.7 .7 kilograms is to. 637 kilograms, okay? Now again, think about your two situations. This was a situation you knew, right? And this is the situation you were trying to find out, right? Okay, so again, your situations line up horizontally. Here, they lined up vertically. It, it doesn't matter, because um, what you're gonna see is what am I still doing? 7.7 .7 times X, cross multiply in this way, and then cross multiply this whatever it was, 8,918, whatever it, it was before. 8,900. No, okay. Again, so you still end up in the same situation because you're still cross multiplying. So again, it doesn't really matter. You just got to make sure the one thing you can't do is you can't have kilograms here and kilograms here, right? You can't have trees here and trees here, okay? Either your trees got to stay horizontal, your trees got to stay vertical. And again, just think about your relationships. 7.7 .7 is to 14, as 637 is to x. Okay, you can't put 7.7 .7 and x because those are two different those are two different situations, right? Good. All right. Uh, your next problem just just go ahead and makes this uh, uh, a little bit different. It says uh, Devon can cross country ski at six kilometers an hour faster than his sister Chanel. So not that he can go. Five kilometers an hour faster. I guess that's six. Five kilometers an hour faster. That he's five kilometers an hour faster than his sister Chanel. So Chanel is going at X kilometers an hour, and Devon is going X plus five kilometers an hour. Okay. So again, we have two things. We can go. Speed for uh, with S for Chanel over speed Dante or Devon, sorry, Devon, Devon well. um, and then we can put what well, distance over distance. But again, make sure. This, Okay, just make sure, again, if you're going to line them up this way, line them up this way. Again, we could also go speed for Chanel over distance for Chanel is equal to speed for Devon over distance for Devon, right? Again, you see how they stack up this way, they stack up this way. Again, we want to, can we say, Distance for Chanel over speed for Chanel? Sure. Okay, then we just have to make sure we're going to put distance for Devon over speed for Devon. Okay, so again, we have all these options. You just either your situation has to line up this way or it has to line up this way. It doesn't matter how you do it, okay? So let's just pick one and we'll, we'll go ahead and do it. It doesn't matter, okay? Um, 
All right, hold on. My cat decides to climb on my lap. I'm going to near her. She decides every time I'm in the door that she wants to come and bother me. All right. So, um, again, so let's, let's, let's stick with this one. Speed for Chanel, okay? Well, Chanel has a speed of X. And uh, Devin had a speed of X plus 5, right? Um, how far did Chanel go? Chanel went 30 kilometers. And Devin went 45 kilometers. Okay? So again, let's cross multiply. Hold on, I'm going to take my cat off my lap because she will not leave me alone. Kick cat. Square. Okay? Let's cross multiply. X times 45 is going to be 45X. And again, we have to distribute over here 30 times X plus 5. Okay? So let's distribute that. 45X is equal to 30X plus 150. Let's subtract 30X from either side. Okay? What do we got? We've got a uh, 15 x equals 150. So again, that speed is going to be 10 miles per hour. Okay. So again, let's look at the let's look at the questions asking now. It says find their speeds. Okay. So what are we going to say? Let's make sure we say this. Um, Devin. Chanel. So Chanel was going 10 miles per hour. And Devin was going five kilometers fast, so which is 15 miles per hour. Okay. So again, like I said, the, the, the hardest part for a lot of people is that you have options on how you want to set this up. Um, but again, it, it doesn't really matter as long as you stay consistent. You, you're saying, you know, you're saying units either horizontally or vertically and make sure that you're two uh, different situations are horizontal and vertical, okay? So again, I guess I hope this helped. And like I said, if you got any questions, I'll give you a call and I'll figure it out, okay? Thanks, bye.